In this video, we will learn more about ICAO, International Civil Aviation Organization. What is that? What is ICAO? ICAO is an organization of many countries to facilitate air navigation between them, air transport between them. Its headquarters is at Montreal, Canada, and it has got uh, seven regional offices also in Asia Pacific, Middle East, Western and Central Africa, South America, North America, East and Southern Africa, Europe and North Atlantic, and Paris. These are the regional offices of ICAO. Just not the number of regional offices, there are seven. And the headquarters is, is at Montreal. That only you have to remember for in that. ICAO World Headquarters. And it is presided over by an assembly, then comes a council, and then two branches are there. One is Commission of Committees and one is Secretariat. This is the form of ICAO, how it is branched like that. And then comes ICAO standards. <coughs> ICAO has uh, laid down a few annexures in which their standards are mentioned. If a change is to be uh, made in that annexure, it will be notified to the member countries also and uh, the member countries also will have to change accordingly. So we have to learn which annexure is for what, what purpose is of that annexure. That you have to learn and remember. Okay. There are annexures are there, some documents, docs are there and you have to remember the doc number and the purpose and uh, some certain standards are also there, standards and agreements that you will learn after some after this. So let us start with <coughs> ECAO standards based on these annexures. Annexure number one, it is about personal licensing. As we told earlier, personal licensing is there. Each and every flight crew and uh, pilot should have licenses. So these personal license are under this section, means annexure number one. Then comes annexure number two, rules of the air. Rules which prevails in air when, when a, a flight is operating. The rules which it has to follow. International rules are them, means uh, it, it is, uh, there are rules over high seas, over member countries and inside um, uh, or when you are into a territory. Then comes annex 3, Meteorological Services for International Air Navigation. Actually, these are all to maintain a uniformity between all the member nations. And there should be a uniformity in these procedures, these equipment, and the aircraft itself, and um, the technologies used, and how it is used. In all that, there should be a uniformity to be maintained. For that, this ICAO procedures are there and ICAO annexures maintain that uh, standards to which the equipment should be or the rule should be or the procedure should be or the license should be whatever it may be it will be as per the these annexures <laughs> and then comes annexure number four aeronautical charts then five units of measurement used in air and ground navigation units of me measurement that means these square, uh, square feet, feet, knots, and all, and all these units. Then comes annexure number six, operation of aircraft for international air transport, general navigation, and for the operations of helicopters. There should be some certain rules. Then comes annexure number seven, air, air, aircraft nationality and registration marks. That is also important. Then comes annex eight, which is about airworthiness of an aircraft. Then annex seven, uh, annex nine, facilitation. Facilitation means the facilities and the rules regarding that. Means not just facility, the facilitation of the services. Then comes annex number 10, aeronautical telecommunication. In that there are three uh, sub sections, radio nav aids and uh, communication procedure and communication systems. Then comes annex, <coughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, then uh, uh, and two more are there, surveillance is there then they are not here radio frequency spectrum utilization. That means there is a spectrum 
which is used in air navigation also. There are, there are different bands in VHF, UHF and HF and all. So there, there are also, there are, we have some rules regarding the usage of this bandwidth and spectrum. Then Annex 11, Air Traffic Services, ATS. <coughs> then Annex 12, Search and Rescue. Annex 13, Aircraft Accident, accident Investigation. Annex 14, Aerodrome. In that Aerodrome, Design and uh, Infrastructure and Operations. Then comes Helipads and Heliports. Then Annex 15, Aeronautical Information Services. Aeronautical Information. Not Air Traffic Aid, it is Aeronautical Information. Then comes Annex 16, Environmental Protection. This pollution and all, this uh, reduction of carbon footprint, everything comes under this aircraft noise, engine emissions, everything comes under environmental protection. Then Annex 17, Safeguarding International Civil Aviation Against Unlawful Acts of Unlawful Interference, Hijacking and all. There are rules against this hijacking and uh, unlawful interference. Unlawful interference means illegal interference. Then comes Annex 18, Safe Transport of Dangerous Goods by Air. Of course, uh, danger, uh, dangerous goods also may be transported through air. But for maintaining and to avoid danger and, avo and to minimize hazards, we have rules for that also. That comes under Annex 18. These are the annexes, main annexes. Then comes recommended practices. These are the rec uh, these annexes are just like rules. And comes documents or docs which are recommended practices. These are the recommended practices. Standards above these practices are allowed, but below these stand uh, practices are not uh, allowed. Like that. Doc double four double four. Procedure, procedure for air navigation services and air traffic management. Okay. Then comes DOC 7030, Regional Supplementary Procedure, 8400, ICAO abbreviation and codes. Abbreviations should be in aviation language to avoid confusion and to maintain uniformity. Then comes DOC 8168, Aircraft Operations. How an aircraft should be operated? What are the signals, symbols, everything, marshalling, everything comes under Talk 8168. Then comes 7910 location indicators. Location indicators means there are indications and uh, <coughs> symbols to be used for position reporting and location indications. These all comes under Talk 7910. Then uh, 8585 designators for aircraft operating agencies, air nautical authorities, and services. Then comes 8643 aircraft type designator. That means each and every aircraft belongs to a certain type. Amphibious, seaplanes, and uh, heavy, medium, um, um, light aircraft, like that. This, there are certain types. And that designation falls under 8643. Then comes Aeronautical Information Service Manual 8126. Then comes 8697 Aeronautical Chart Manual. Actually, you have to remember. Uh, a few of these docs. Better remember all the dog number and for what it is mentioned all about. This list of docs can be downloaded from uh, Pilot 18 website itself under the study materials link. These are all about ICAO and its procedures and documents. And you don't have to go deep into docs or you don't have to read each and every doc and know what it is. You just have to read the headings, what it is all about. That is enough and you have to memorize this. So from this first part, what you have to do is memorize each and every article and what it is all about. Memorize each and every annex, it is more important. The most important is the annexes. Each and every annex and what it is all about and then the dog numbers and what it is about. Then comes freedom of air, first freedom, second freedom, like that, freedom of air that we will cover in the next video.